eating. Mm. Like I am exhausted from doing it the wrong way. Food has this power Everything to numb you to and distract you. So when people want to tell me about a diet, I don't. It's not portions. I know what portions are. I just I want to eat more. I want to stop thinking. You know, isn't the point of eating to meet your caloric need so you? You know, food is something that the gives you energy you and vitality. We like, your blood pressure even raises looking at these. And the your purpose, oh, I need to get me some you're shit. linked if I'm to, ask the rats to others, consume these foods, to the universe, etc. The et reward that they got then from these foods, about decal food addiction, mere struggling, why is the energy and vitality? You like, should not think more about food than you think about yourself. sprouts, pan fried mushrooms, and some plantain. First batch of plantains was light skin. The second batch, I went a little crazy. This is my last meal for the next five days, which is no big deal whatsoever. I don't need to stuff my face all the time. My digestive system deserves a break. And I owe it to myself to stick it through this fast. So that's what I'm gonna do. is when I would cheat, I wouldn't necessarily share it with you. I would just kind of pass it off as like, it's whatever. It's 2.33 a.m. I'm working the overnight shift tonight. I was just talking, well, I wasn't talking, that was the thing. And I was just sitting there listening. And as the conversation went on, I just reached mindlessly for a piece of chocolate. It was dark though. Forgetting that I started my fast. I do have my juice though, and I actually am a bit thirsty. Oh, I put it in the freezer too. I need to go grab it. I'm not tired, <laughs> but I look super tired. I just want to be one, honey. Let's go around. was lightheaded, my nigga. The reason why. You by her doing strenuous activities off of cantaloupe juice with your head down. Blah, blah, you blah. ain't even drink no juice. No Yoga water. Ain't no strenuous activity. It can be. So let's see out. Let's, let's shift, 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 shift these, these thoughts. thoughts. She's alive. smell that i smell a quick little bible study the bible is meant to be understood intuitively not literally do with that what you will when i was on the phone with my home girl earlier we were just talking about cameras and vlogging and i was like i'm actually filming a vlog right now i'm fasting it stuck with me that i mentioned to her that i was on a fast and that made me want to do some research what it means to share with other people that you're on a fast let me break it down for you. Don't be out here walking around with a sad facial expression. Like the folks doing it for the wrong reasons. We build our strength through spiritual exercises like fasting. So if you go into training inwardly, why would you not come correct outwardly? Don't be moping around, throwing on clothes from the bottom of your dirty clothes hamper, not brushing your teeth, not washing your face, not washing your ass. Do your part, which is to keep it between you and God, your higher self, the universe, whatever you want to call it, we are all one. We all out here walking embodiments of God consciousness. And as you do your part, trust that you will be rewarded openly. As always, I send my love.
And that's all I have to share. I'm gonna take a nap. Oh, I'm actually gonna go have some tea. You wanna come go grab the tea with me? Come on. So let me tell you how I feel. Oh, hold on. I've been getting up too fast. Mm, get into it real quick. I keep looking over at these little devilish foods in the corner, but I have not touched either one of them. Here's YouTube. share something with you really quickly before I start getting ready for <laughs> go back at 4 right and I got off at 8 a.m. and my plan was to sleep between you know 10 and 3 but as I was sleeping my brother he's editing a video and he needed to get into my room this was around like 1 39 actually it was earlier than that and I'm like you know I want my sleep I felt like I should just get up that's maybe what that was about. So I got up, right? And I just came in the closet and I did a meditation for an hour. That was really good for me. I feel really good. I feel well, well rested um, nonetheless. It's 3.05 and I've just been sipping on some coconut water because that's what I felt like I wanted. I woke up too with like a little, a little scratchy throat. So I know I was out a little bit. All right. Hey, love bugs. It's 8 o'clock and I'm just drinking some coconut water right now. I am experiencing, it feels like some gas build up like right here. But other than that, I feel really good. I think normally by this time within previous fasts, I'm like freaking out and really in my head about food. So it makes me feel good that I don't feel that exact same way that I normally feel because that means that I'm growing a little bit in that area. Um, and not obsessing. And there's even like a bunch of sweets that they brought in at my job that I won't be obviously participating in, but I don't even have an urge to. It's not like, oh my gosh, like they're right there. I want it so bad. I don't feel that way. All is well. I just got off of work and when I was at work, one of the guys was sharing something with me and I just figured I'd share it with you guys because I shared the scripture before it, right? About fasting and how you're supposed to keep it between you and God. He mentioned the one about prayer and how you know you're not supposed to be boastful with prayer. That's supposed to be between you and God too. But as far as how I feel, I mean, I'm tired, my head itching. I'm not thinking about no food though. Teachings on prayer. I'm not sure exactly what what's relevant. I didn't really go through it and break it down yet. I take it and I assess it and I, I go from there. For example, sex before marriage. I think honestly that our ancestors just understood that when you be having sex with somebody, you exchange energies with that person. Soul ties are real, they understood sexual transmutation. And so, you know, it's like, why would you just go be bumping on anybody that you don't really love? Like just bumping on randos. You feel me? Like do what you want to do. But it just makes sense when you really understand, and I'm still learning, so I can't go into depth about it, but when you really understand what happens when you let these folks inside of you, what it does, how it changes your brain chemistry, the neurons in your brain, go look it up. Anyways, what do my hair look like? Oh, you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful.
And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogue. So the same thing it was saying with the fast, you know, do it in secret and you'll be rewarded openly. Another guy said to me at the place that I work, he was like, why aren't you eating? And of course I was inclined to say, oh, I'm on fast. That's what I normally would do. But I didn't this time and I was super proud because I thought of the scripture and I was like, girl, I'm gonna keep it. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions. Do not repeat things over and over and over and over again. Believe that it's already yours. Just to put the little cherry on the cake. Stop being so nasty. I am so grateful and I feel very well and I can't wait to feel well, well rested. And when I do feel well rested is the next time I will speak to you. I send my love and that's it. Toodaloo. And that's day three. They're trying to generate feelings of kindness, acceptance, warmth, and tenderness for us off. I am successful. I am happy. I am you. Good morning, good morning. What a beautiful day it is. It's like 1.45. I'm gonna juice the celery and I have grapefruits. Then I've got that one cantaloupe that's gonna go back. I woke up feeling a little undernourished, which I'm pretty sure just had to do with my iron. So I got a tea going right now. I was looking for my yellow dark root, which really helps with iron. But I'm, I don't know where it is. I'm missing like a whole bag of herbs somewhere around here. I mean, I need to go replenish anyways because I'm low on a lot of stuff. Like, look at this. Look at how much milk, milk thistle I have left. My elderberry, everything's low. Everything's low. This is still yellow dark root, but it's the stem, like it's the root. And it's not broken down into the powder. And I got this like a whole year ago. So it's a little dried out. So anyways, I got my tea going on super low. I'm gonna knock out the rest of these juices, right? This is all I have left for real. I really have the taste for that tea. So I'm excited about that tea. And then, you know, I'll go back to work at 4 p.m. I'm doing another 4 p.m. to 4 a.m., y'all. I know, pray for me. I got this though, it ain't nothing. Uh, I want some grapefruit juice. It's just not sound so good. Whoa, look at how beautiful this is. This is the real gold. Beautiful view. So you don't have to put no Zach sauce or none of that or ranch in the bag because I don't eat it. You guys, I feel amazing, truly, from the inside out. I can't even get on here and be like, oh my gosh, it's day four, I feel miserable, because I don't. It's really all a mindset thing. Because in previous fasts, you know, I'm like, on the next day, I'm like, oh my gosh, I still got one more day. Oh my gosh, I still got three more days. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. I think the worst parts of the day are towards maybe the end. And I'm like, ooh, like I could really snack on something crunchy or salty like i've been craving like pretzels crackers in previous fast i remember there was in a, like, a popeyes commercial came on and it was like i was shaking dang there every time i go into work there's pizza they get food every day people are always offering me things remember i told you i was kind of inclined to share my fast with people prior and i would be like oh no i can't i'm on a fast the same guy who asked me if i wanted food on my last fast he asked me, he was like, you want some of this? He be having like, you know, like shrimp and chicken, cheesecake yesterday, and it be looking bomb. I'm not even gonna lie to you, but I just simply said no, no thank you. I'm having this celery juice today. I added a little bit of coconut water because the celery itself is a bit bitter, you know. Before, I would feel like, dang, like why am I even sharing anything? Like why would anybody listen to me? Somebody told me, or tell the person 
that you were three years ago, what you wanted to hear. You know, you know what I'm getting at. I ain't, I ain't even going to mess with that no more, but. Help the person you were three years ago, three months ago, two days ago. Help her. Somebody would ask me about something that they were interested in or they wanted to try. And I'm just like, uh, I mean, I did some of this and this, but, you know, I don't really know. I'm not that educated on it as I'd like to be. And that was just part of me just being way too hard on myself. I think I've been through this enough times to be able to share something. But for some reason, it, I just, I got to do it with my throat chakra being blocked, but we're working on it. I'm just drinking the celery juice. Um, I'm going to bring it with me because I'm about to go run some errands. I'm finally kind of off for the day. I go back into work tonight at 12 and I got off at work at 5 this morning. So I'm probably going to want to go back to sleep before I go into work tonight. I want to go to the park too though. I just kind of want to go be in some nature. You know, I went outside this morning. So my dog was like laying in the grass, kind of like grounding with me. I thought that was, that was cute. But anyways, I will do so I'll see you later. Hello, love, sunshine. So I just want to share a little bit, like give some tips, tell you what, exactly what it is I'm doing, you know, why I'm fasting. I'm on a liquid fast. I started Monday at 12 a.m. and I'll end Friday at 12 a.m. And I will break the fast with fruits because all I've been having is juices, right? I've only had um, coconut water, hot tea, like my hot herbal tea. As far as what I've been juicing, you do you. You juice what you want to juice. Always do your own research. I just kind of juiced whatever I felt like juicing. So I had some grapefruit juice yesterday. Um, right now I'm drinking celery juice that I added coconut water to. I'll drink the coconut water on its own. Your girl been feeding her flesh. I'ma admit it, I'ma be the first to admit it. I have been feeding my flesh and not my soul too heavy, especially these past couple weeks. When you work overnight, you kinda, or just let me not even put that on nobody. Let me just take accountability. I've been pulling up to McDonald's, I've been pulling open the app and I've been getting that fry, that $1 medium fry. I really was just doing it just to do it because it was like the only thing open. Not only was I getting the fry, Somebody put me on to the apple pie, and I was like, dang, I didn't even know the apple pie was hitting like that. So yeah, I just been eating these mad low vibrational foods, and we supposed to be one of the highest, or if not the highest vibrational beings on this planet. We all were created by the same thing, right? The same God that created me, created the moon, created the stars, created chameleons. Ain't, isn't that beautiful? Do you think if the moon was a person, they'd be throwing back McDonald's all the time? No, no, I doubt it. I really do. Keep it a buck. And I notice my mind is clear. I can think clear. Another big reason I fast is to give my digestive, my digestive system a break. When your body isn't worried about breaking down all that food, especially the processed food, you have more energy because the energy is not being used to break down the food that you throw in back every day three times a day, four times a day. But yeah, I do try to fast often. I have no particular routine or anything. Another big reason I fast is for my overall discipline, especially when it comes to food, right? My relationship with food has been... I just always ate what I wanted to. Anything that looked good to, my, to me, to my eyes, through my eyes, I was gonna get it, I was gonna buy it, I was gonna put it in my mouth. I always been a big foodie. It's Cause it wasn't like I just like strictly ate junk food and I wouldn't even eat at McDonald's, which is crazy that that was what I indulged in the past, you know, week. I don't know what they put in them dang on nuggets, but oh my gosh, I always just internally felt like crap after I would eat McDonald's. So that was why I was always against McDonald's before. But you know, the fries is like, dang, they, they, they are addictive and we know that they put, you know, addicti addictive things in the food nowadays, things that make you addicted to the foods. Like I remember I saw this video on Chick-fil-A and I love me some like, <sighs> but when I looked at the list of ingredients that are in the fries, it's insane. Like all you need is the potato and the salt and the oil and whatnot. I am guilty of binge eating. I have been through a few depressed stages and I especially then I would eat whatever I was door dashing whatever you know I would I would I just I I got what I like that was 
my comfort. I even say now, like still to this day, I'll eat something and I'm just like, wow, this was such an experience. And I mean that with everything in my soul. Like my my relationship with food is just something that I, I really want to better now. I just don't eat meat. That's the only thing I say. I don't even say vegetarian because like I said, I didn't eat the McDonald's fries and I know those have some kind of meat uh, product in it. My dad, could, or I had collard greens the day after Thanksgiving, right? Because that was my last fast. I had collard greens, you know, that my dad cooked. And, you know, he, he ain't making it with with mushrooms. You know, he used a ham hock. <clears throat> he actually used turkey. And they were so good. And I'm still kind of early, like I said, in my, in my, in my little journey to kind of, I guess I'll say to plant-based because that is my goal. But I can't even say that I'll go 100% plant-based yet. One of my biggest things that hold me back I think is um traveling and I just have this FOMO that I'm gonna travel and then have all these restrictions and not be able to try all these like fun foods and when I first stopped eating meat I was like okay I'm gonna be vegetarian you never know like I didn't even plan to stop eating meat it wasn't until my last fast that I went on about three four months ago or no my plan was to fast for two weeks so strictly juice you know strictly lick I went one week and then I was like I gave in on the second week I was like okay you know what I don't really want to just like give in all the way I didn't consume meat that was my plan to not consume meat for the second week and then after the week was over I was just like do I even really want to eat meat for real again like something in me was like I don't want meat anymore and then I started watching all these documentaries and you know I went down that rabbit hole and now I'm like I'm good I don't need meat I felt like I was eating very zombie-like, especially when I was in those depressive states. Like, why would we consume such low vibrational foods, foods with no nutrition, no real value, once it gets past our eyes and it's time for our bodies to do the work and it to really do what it's supposed to do because food is communion with God, right? But yeah, I used to eat real good, y'all. And I still continue to eat. I will continue to eat good. Like, that's not going to change. Let me tell you how I didn't came across so many, like, plant-based creators that post a lot of plant-based recipes. Oh, my gosh. One of my absolute favorites is Turnip Vegan. He be throwing down. Like, I'm good. And that's me, you know, eating with my eyes again. But at least that food is a little more conscious. You know, way more conscious. My main thing is just to to eat more consciously that's my goal for myself right now um and just you know really consider my soul and not eat for my flesh so much i've been cooking a lot at home and that always makes a big difference but the most important thing is just recognizing right that you are eating all zombie like wanting to change and then making that change making some kind of effort that's the norm to eat every day, that's what we're told, you know, eat every day, three times a day. That ain't really what I believe to be it anymore. Um, as much as I love food, and it hurts me to say that, but the big thing is to be kind to yourself, you know what I mean? Like, even when I ate them fries last week, I went like, oh my gosh, and then just fell down this uh, the rabbit hole of, like, you know, continuing to eat that stuff. No, you see, I'm I'm admitting it. And I, I decided to go on this fast and I'm sticking to it. And that makes me feel really good. Were the fries tasty? Yes, they was fresh too every dang on time. And that apple pie. But that don't mean nothing to me. When you do kind of wean off of whatever path it is you choose to go on, be kind to yourself, okay? Just know that the relationship that we have with food can change your life or even save your life. Because I know that's a lot of the times re people change their decide to change their diet you know what I mean it's like that last minute thing and they wait till they have that cancer or they wait till they have this you know these thyroid issues or this that and the third and it's like they get that scare from the doctor and they're like okay I need to I need to change I need, I need to make a change and I want to not have to I want more of us to not have to wait to get to that point but I ain't really an advocate just yeah I'm just saying my biggest thing this time around is to just hold myself accountable or there's been times in previous fasts that I've went on and I would cheat I, and I would allow myself to and I would allow myself to do that I'd you know I'd see some pretzels on the counter or some trail mix 
and I would go for it. You know what I mean? And I'd have like a little handful or I would, to be specific, my very first fast, I had about a handful of trail mix. And then my mom on this random, random day, never in her life, did it. She never, she did it that one time, never did it again, never before that. She decided to cook this, you know, extravagant meal. It was like, she made Chinese food at home, basically. Um, and I tried some of the like fried rice she made and I like put it in my mouth and I just chewed it up and then I spit it out. And I did that a few times. I know that's crazy, but just, that's what I did. Like it's, it's. I but this time around like for this fast I strictly was like okay girl if you're gonna do this do this and I that's all I've been doing I've, I've only had juices I've only had coconut water and it feels good to say that and actually know that it's true make sure you set your goals for yourself at the beginning before the fast starts there's been times where I go into the fast not really kind of bouncing around like "Eh, I think I'm gonna do three days or I think I'm gonna do two weeks and then of course you know it's like "Eh, well I never said I was gonna do this I never stood on it but no you got to stand on it before you go into the fast and then hold yourself accountable throughout the fast right cheat on the fast or if you not cheat but if you given and you like dang okay i'm finna stop after this time it just it just shows that you're human and it's not the end of the world like i said be kind to yourself but you know on the next one try to go that extra day try to not make that same mistake again the whole point is that you apply what you learned this is a really big one because i used to do this real real bad don't make the fast your everything thing the same way you know you eat and you go on about your day before the fast That's what you need to do when you're drinking your juice or whatever kind of fast you're doing. So let's just say, let's just say you want to fast and you're like, okay, I'm only drinking coconut water. The coconut water is in place of the meal that you would have had prior, right? So I'm not going to have the the meal and then be like, oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. And I know it's different for people because when you, especially when you first start fasting, your body realizes that you're trying to make that difference and then it start it it might make you feel like you're doing the wrong thing but your body is just smart and it's trying to heal you and of course it's like super bad then stop yes but or the fact that you're not eating does not need to be on your mind 24 7 a way to help with that is to you know make sure you're doing other activities or to do the regular do your regular do your regular daily routine if you go to work every day make sure you're going to work and make sure you're bringing your juice or your coconut water. Go play with your kids. You don't be crying in the bed like, oh, when is this fast over? No, because if you always, if you focus on that, then that's what it's going to be. And then another big tip is to break the fast consciously, correctly. Where I went on that first fast and I broke it with pizza. Be for real. When you do juice or when you do strictly liquids, you're supposed to break it with fruit. When you do it uh, fr- all fruit fast, you're supposed to break it with vegetables. Keep that in mind because you can throw your body off and you like actually hurt yourself and you're doing your first few fasts don't make it super overwhelming for yourself okay keep it simple go with maybe one of your favorite fruits like i said the high water content fruits are going to be your best fruit that fasting is not a diet or missing a meal i'm doing this to heal i'm doing this for spiritual reasons and you just need to make your own goals and set your own goals and stick to those goals and have your own reasons and stick to those reasons right and just be honest with yourself and if you're trying to just lose weight you know for uh, surgery that's coming up or you want to connect with God more, or you just want to be more aware, just just have that set in stone, your why. to sleep and that made me feel some kind of way it's going on 10 o'clock though as you know i planned on resting before i went off to work i don't even know where my mind went but i started scrolling I made a vegan version using fried oyster mushrooms if you never use at first i was looking at plant-based recipes which i know i shouldn't have done because of course that's just gonna make me yearn for food even more if I did feel any kind of way, it would be around these late night hours. I went ahead and got my tea going so that I could take it with me to work later because I 
that really helps. But I mean, I'm not even really craving anything. I just, I've just started thinking about a lot of different things. I pulled up a video. Um, it's gotta be something in my eye. It gotta be. You know how you just scroll and you look up and you're like, dang, I wasted this time. That's how I felt. Then I went down another little rabbit hole about like food addictions and just like the kind of foods that we consume all the time like why do why why are we not more inclined to make way better choices for ourselves not 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 to be that girl but to be that girl i don't want to mope around i'm about to do some pranayama yoga what it is is it really focuses on breath work yeah. Obviously, I end up only sleeping a couple of hours. I did do some. I, I, why am I lying? I barely slept. That's why I can't even think right now. I'm drinking my tea right now. And it's so good. Again, I put it in. I always put in the right amount of honey. Like, I got my coconut water right here holding my phone up. But that's it. It's officially Friday. So my fast ends in less than 24 hours I told you i'm gonna break my fast with the strawberries they smell so good too oh my god i could literally smell them from like i had them sitting in my chair next to my bed and i could smell them from the bed like <laughs> i felt like a i don't want to say i with this outro so let's just keep it simple let's pretend you asked me to leave you with one thing i'd say to train your mind it's not the easiest thing in the world mm -hmm. let's go a little harder than that but it is so powerful and such a beautiful way to build a relationship of trust with yourself so not only are you going to find yourself moving through your fast with more ease but through life as well mm -hmm. go juliana you know I send my love and I will see you later.